Hello, Indy. Hey, Gautier. How are you? Good. What about you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Well, welcome, Indy. So Indy is joining us today from Australia, um, and we're going to be talking about his short script today. Um, Indy, let's right. start by introducing yourself, your background. Yeah, sure. Um, my name is Indy Davies. I am a budding filmmaker. Um, I've been making films for the past five years or so, um, maybe even less, actually. I, um, yeah, I, I don't have any formal training or anything like that. I just, I've always really loved cinema. Um, and I think I got a taste for it from playing music and messing around with music videos and stuff. So that's what led me into making short films. And now I'm starting to work on some features and stuff as well. Um, cool. yeah. Cool. 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 So Indy, what about, tell us about your short script, daddy. Daddy. Yeah. Um, so I guess Daddy kind of started when a couple of years ago I made a short film called Mum, mm. and that was, you know, like a more of a heroin revenge story, you know, which is kind of like, you know, lots of people are making that now. It's really like, um, it's really popular, but I had this idea to do like a, like a look at that from the opposite side. So look at that from the male perspective, um, or at least study that male character, um, which is a little more unsexy, but I thought it, I kind of wanted to explore that, you know, that ugliness and that rawness. Um, so yeah, Daddy is about, um, it's a short film. It's about um, a rural Australian farmer, like a beef farmer who's recently been separated from his wife and children. He's uh, struggling with his job and just trying to get his life together um, and his alcoholism hmm. um, and he eventually meets this woman um, a new woman who helps him get his life together um, but eventually his uh, true nature kind of uh, takes over and he gets himself into a bit of mischief again. okay yeah yep. so um I, I want to know about the influences or were you inspired, motivated by anything to write? So let's talk about both pieces. Cause I would, yeah, I, now you're now after, you know, telling us the story behind daddy. Um, yeah. I, I want to go, I want to go ahead and ask you about like both. Do you have like any motivation, any inspiration, anyone, you know, maybe. Um. Yeah, I think like a lot of it stems from my childhood. I think I grew up in a semi-rural town in Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandparents were farmers. Um, so I was around a lot of that. And I guess the, um, you know, in its essence, daddy is about toxic masculinity. Um, mm -hmm. And so I grew up around a lot of that. And I think that that really inspired, inspired these um, scripts. Mm -hmm. Um, exploring that kind of concept and especially how that affects men and women in um, rural parts of Australia. Because mm. uh, I think that, you know, the concentration of, you know, toxic masculinity, or at least the way that it um, kind of, you know, forms itself is mm. a lot higher in those areas. Um, so that, that definitely played a part. Um, Mum, the, the short film that I made a few years ago, that was more of a uh, uh, action or more of a grindhouse kind of film in a way. Um, Daddy is more of a, it's kind of more dramatic. I think it's mm. more, um, yeah, it reads much more, um, yeah, just kind of um, gruff and, yeah, it kind of explores that darker sort of side of things and, the yeah i think that a lot of that also comes from um yeah uh western movies mm. okay <laughs> and, uh, yeah so i've always had a thing for western movies mm. um you know all the american westerns mm. uh, and so i can't when i was writing it i had a lot of that imagery in my head you know the, mm. the broad landscapes and the sweeping shots mm. the you know the the slow kind of walking and drawing uh okay. 
you know, dialogue and stuff like mm. that. So, yeah, that kind of helped form the full vision for that script as okay. well. Okay. Um, do you think that filmmaker should should have lived like the experience of what he's writing about, or do you think that filmmakers in general can, I would say, like imagine whatever script they want to write? Yeah, that's a good question. Hmm. Um, I th I don't think there's a set rule. You know, for hmm. me, for me personally, I I I tend to write what I know. Um, hmm. I tend to write. Uh, at least the core concept starts as a lived experience for me. But in saying that, um, I recently produced a couple of films for a mate of mine, Dustin Schmidt. He's a he's an amazing writer um, who just, uh, you know, he can write, you know, horror films and stuff that just are completely made up. And I'm in total awe of those writers that can do that because. Um, mm. That's not something that I've done as of yet. Uh, most of my stuff has been from, you know, lived experiences and actual events and stuff like that. Okay. I don't. There's no right way to do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I do agree with that. Um, so I, I'm interested to know how your music videos background, like, influenced in a way your kind of is film. Um, I would say motivation. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think when I was growing up, I was like obsessed with action movies, you know, mm -hmm. um, and Westerns. And I loved how the music uh, kind of worked in conjunction with the action. Mm -hmm. um, and so when I was in a band, a lot of my music was inspired by Western movies. Um, and that just happened organically. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when I was making film clips, I would make them you know, suitably Western styled and stuff. Mm. Uh, yeah. And I suppose that just led me uh, now that I'm getting a little bit older too, I'm like, maybe I don't want to be on stage all the time. <laughs> I'm going to start learning how to write movies. Mm. Um, and just naturally, I think that I started writing um, with those inspirations, you know, mm. all those, all those old movies that I watched. Um, and then also, while I'm writing, I always am thinking about the music, you know, I'm mm -hmm. always imagining what sort of music is in each scene and how the mm -hmm. sound and music affects each scene. Okay. Do you use uh, personal music, personal scores in your movies? Um, I haven't yet because I don't consider myself a good musician. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, this is yeah, humble. But, this is humble, right? <laughs> I've used um, friends scores and stuff like that, mm. um, which have been really great. Um, my friend James Walmsley, I used one of his scores in a little short film I did about my rescue greyhound, mm. which was just a really moving, simple little piano piece. It just fit perfectly. Like I tried to write some stuff on the guitar, which is my instrument, mm. but couldn't quite get it. Mm. Um, I do, you know, I play a lot of like dusty blues, slide guitar sort of stuff. So one day maybe I'll, um, incorporate some of my music. Okay. In the, I was, personally, I was reading your script and, um, it feels for me that it, it doesn't follow the, and this is what I'm finding out about movies is that scripts, cause you know, if you go to the film school, they would teach you mm. to write like one, two, three introduction and then you have like act one act two act three and then you yeah. have like you have to write about um the credible uh personas um i want to know more about the structure of your script because um it's kind of different from you know the traditional scripts that we see so i want you yeah. to i want you to explain more about the structure without spoiling of course the the whole script <laughs> yeah um I think maybe what's happened there is I originally started writing it as a feature. Um, so I had a lot more, um, I guess I had a lot more scenes. Um, and then I was, I just wanted to kind of finish it. And then I'm like, I really want to make this. I want to make it as a short film. I want to do it soon. So uh, I started rewriting it as a short. And then, uh, so trying to condense all of that stuff into a short film 
Uh, I think what it turned out being was more like a five act or something like that. And uh, the, the structure that it kind of follows is there's like a metaphor there uh, where uh, the farmer character, he's, um, he's got a broken fence. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty classic metaphor. You know, he's mending his fence, you know, so mending his relationships in his life. So throughout the, the course of the film, he's, you know, he discovers the fence and then he starts to mend it and things sort of go awry. And then by the end of it, um, well, he, maybe he does mend it, maybe he doesn't. But uh, yeah, so I think what happens is, you know, there's kind of the way I've structured it is he does something with the fence and then that reflects in his life. Um, so yeah okay cool in which genre you you you, you put your movie do, like again i'm i'm ta i know that maybe some people listening to us will not understand what i'm talking about because they haven't yet read the movie but the script but i felt that there are like there were many kind of genre and like subgenre in your movie hmm. Tell me more about that, because may maybe this is my feeling. Maybe this is how I perceived the 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 script. But was it on purpose? Um, I think so. Yeah. Uh, so genre-wise, I had a few influences. I think um, stylistically, I think uh, I wanted it to feel like a neo-western, so like a, a dark and brooding kind of modern western tale. Um, but the dialogue, I think, begins as a drama. Um, we kind of, we're just, um, we're kind of, uh, yeah, just uh, researching this guy um, mm -hmm. who's dealing with these life events. Exactly. And the beginning is, I was reading the beginning and I was, I was just wondering, is it a thriller? Is it going to be like a drama? Only drama? Is it going to be like massive <laughs> shooting yeah. movie so this is why like the beginning is so interesting because like you want to read more to know where this character is going to lead us yeah and i think uh, i found the same thing when i started writing it too um and i had that trouble when i was writing it as a feature i was like i don't know how this is going to end um so i wasn't sure who would come out on top or exactly which direction it was going to go whether i would just keep it as kind of a character study. Um, but the, it, in the end, I was like, no, um, I think that there's a twist at the end. So yeah, there's a little twist. I think it becomes kind of like a, a thriller in the end. Yeah, um, I have to agree because <laughs> again, I read this script. Um, Indy, one last word to young filmmakers and young strip writers. Yeah. Um, Anyone out there? I mean, I've started. I'm not a, I'm not a spring chicken. Um, I think like, like DIY. I'm all about do it yourself. You know, um, you know, study and stuff's great. And um, a lot of people I work with are studied and they really, you know, know a lot of stuff. Me personally, I didn't have that um, that opportunity when I was younger, or I didn't follow that path. Um, but I just got out there and, and learned everything myself and just got involved in as many kind of movies and indie films and bigger projects and just all sorts of different stuff that you can. Um, and always, you know, being hungry for more information, I think, is the key. Perfect. And Indy, it was a pleasure talking to you today. Um, we'll be uploading this video on YouTube uh, ASAP. Um, what I want to say, I just, I have to agree one more time with you. Um, all we have to do as independent filmmakers and script writers is just to be, is just to try to involve ourselves in like new projects and just be, to be curious, to read, to watch, to just network. And I think yep. this is, this is the best way to, to keep on creating art. Um, again, it was a pleasure talking to you uh, from Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, man. And we'll uh, hopefully we'll see you soon someday. Cool, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for the chat. Cool. Have a good day. You too, man. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Ciao.